all right welcome back to another video by grease monkey bass fishing so you guys know i love showing you guys these features from live scope to the chart plotters so as you guys know i am running the 943 xsv gps map unit so i am going to show you guys another feature today that i recently discovered um it's going to be a game changer for uh, for ice fishing and open water as well live scope is a great tool to have and what I'm going to show you guys is another great tool to have while you're ice fishing or open water. So, normal light scope screen, um, I'm going to go to my pin. On the screen, combo 5, the icons you see on the left side, there's light scope. On the right side, there's a camera. So, it splits my screen up. Uh, right side, there's just a sample there, a sample picture. On the left side, I have my light scope. I'm going to turn on my device. Give it a couple of seconds, it should power up, and there you go. So you guys can see me on my brand new AquaView multi-view camera. So how does it work? On these GPS map units, on the back side, there is a port called BNC. I am not sure what BNC stands for, but I know that that's where I plug in my camera. So the BNC connector, I had to buy an adapter from BNC to AV, which the AV is what um, the AquaView camera comes in. So that adapter, then I just plug them in, and then my chart plotter recognizes that a camera is hooked up to it. And then I just set it up, and then here you go. Got a split screen, got a camera on the right side, got live scope on the left side. And there are menus for both, so you still got the traditional live scope menu, video menu, you know, it opens it up kind of big, um, but video setup, you can do a full screen if you want, go back, um, aspect, stretch, standard, brightness, you can change all that too, depending on, you know, the waters that you're fishing, um, saturation with the colors or, or whatnot, uh, contrast as well, you we got I'm not sure what this is. Video setup, auto, NTC, NTSC, or PAL. Not gonna touch that. I just named it Aqua View. And that's basically all of the settings that you have. Um, but one of the great things that you can do too is you, you go back, click Edit Combo, then you can change the space in between them. So as you guys can see here, I have the camera on the right side, live scope on the left side. Um, they're both identical in size, but what I'm going to do, honestly, is I'm just going to keep the aqua view kind of small, uh, more for a visual thing, and then I'm going to keep my live scope um, a lot bigger. Of course, you know, I, can, I still got my four distance. I don't think it's going to affect me that much. I can still zoom in. All I really need to do is just see my jig come down. Like I said, I just recently discovered this. So if you guys have any questions at all about how to hook up a camera, to your GPS map unit, just send me a message. So I didn't want to buy a smaller camera that already has a screen. I wanted to utilize my GPS map unit screen itself, so that's why I went with this camera from Aquaview. And it looks like it's um, it's a pretty good camera um, for resolution. Um, and I can use my Active Captain application with Helm to record uh, my camera and my live scope. You know, doing these YouTube videos. It's going to be um, a game changer for myself. So thanks for watching um, and let me know if you guys have any questions.